In your stamping collection, do you have at least one stamp set that is an alphabet stamp set where you can personalize greetings or names for your projects? If you don't, I really encourage you to have at least one for all those situations when you really wanna stamp something in particular, you don't have a stamp that says it. Maybe it's somebody's name, maybe it's a particular anniversary, maybe it's a hobby or an interest that somebody has, like dance or cross country, whatever it is, uh, the 4th of July, lots of different things you might want that you don't have a stamp that says that. Now, when you're using those alphabet stamp sets, do you ever get frustrated? I've made several projects here recently where I was personalizing things that I was stamping on them with my alphabet stamp set, and I was getting I wasn't getting real frustrated, but I sometimes it takes some time to line up those stamps and get them straight. I wanted to show you the way that I have decided works best for me, which I feel like is not at all the common sense way of doing it, but it's the way that has really worked for me to line up those stamps straight on my personalized greetings. Let's take a look. Before we get to that quick tip, I wanna show you a few projects I've made recently that include some of these greetings that I have personalized with my Alphabet stamp set. And the particular set I'm using, I'll show you here in a second, it's called Alpha Best. Alpha Best. Here are two that I highlighted in a recent video for some last minute gift ideas or simple and inexpensive gifts you can make anytime for people. If you have stamps, ink, and paper, you can make inexpensive gifts for people anytime and in a short amount of time. So uh, here were a couple that I highlighted, but this one, it is, it's just a picture frame, but there is glass in here and I can use this with a dry erase marker as a dry erase board. So you can turn these into grocery lists, message boards. Uh, this is a prayer list. I can keep prayer requests on here, but this is something I used to do my sign up here that says prayers. Here are some gifts I had made for my Stampin' Up! team members. And I did this down here. I made them so they could hang them in their craft area if they have a craft area. Uh, and I made this down here that says Stampin' Spot with their name. So here's the stamp set I've used. Now this one in particular, I really like because it has these little frame stamps you can use with the letters and there's a punch that goes with it. Now, none of my project samples actually highlight how to use that little punch. I believe I have sent the cards out that I've created that way, but I do have several examples here of how I've used the letters on their own. This was a tutorial I did for farmhouse cards, farmhouse style cards, and I made this one that says love, congrats. This one is an all white. I love these white on white cards. I'm trying to turn this so you can see. Can you see that the, my sentiment here says prayers on this one uh, with that wreath? So here are several examples that I have personalized greetings on. Now let's look at what I believe is the easiest way to line them up. And like I said, it took me quite a while of doing this to figure out that this is the way that seems to work for me. And this is it. I used to always try and like line them up in a straight row or get my grid paper out and line them up straight. And it can be difficult uh, to do that. So here's what I did. And I'm really liking this way. I think my L is upside down, so I'll flip it. But I lay them apart. I want them to be far enough apart that when I lay my block down on top, I'm not picking up multiple stamps at one time. So I'm gonna pick up my L. This is going to say love. Now I don't have these straight at all. Here, I'm just going to lower it slowly. And as I'm doing this, I wanna line it up so that it is where I want it, so that the bottom of my letters are basically in a straight line come over here to my V, come over here to my E, which again, got turned crooked. Uh, and this I have found really works a lot better than what I used to do when I was trying to line them up before I put that block down on top. Now, as after I get them on here, sometimes I see like, oh, that goes a little bit crooked. So if it goes crooked, what do you do? Just pull it back off. Sometimes I only pull off one letter, like maybe my L was sideways or something like that. And 
try it one more time and that looks much better. So if you have an alphabet stamp set, if you struggle to get those letters lined up in a way that is straight and pleasing to you, hopefully this helps you a little bit. If you like the tips that I share and you want to see some more, click on my channel name below and it will take you straight to my channel. There near the top is my card making tips and tricks playlist. You can watch them all day long if you like. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.